If you sold a product or a service and got paid immediately, you'll create a sales receipt in QuickBooks. Enter the customer who's paying you for something. If this isn't a customer you've entered into QuickBooks yet, click Save. If you don't keep track of your customer's names, you can leave this blank or create a generic customer like Internet Sales. Only the customer's name gets saved. You can go to the customer page later to enter this customer's contact info. Now enter the products or services you provided for this customer. If this is a new product or service that you haven't entered into QuickBooks, type it in and click Add. Enter information about this product or service. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory. QuickBooks needs you to choose an account for this product. This isn't a bank account. It's a bookkeeping account called an income account that goes up every time you sell this product. Now you can fill out the rest of the receipt. Be sure to enter the payment method your customer used to pay you. If they paid by check, enter the check number into the reference number field. Also, enter the bank account you deposited the money into. If you group this check with other checks and cash that you deposit all at once, choose Undeposited Funds. After you deposit the group of checks and cash in Undeposited Funds, you'll need to record the deposit in QuickBooks. Now it's your turn. In your QuickBooks, create your own sales receipts. You get both a pretty receipt to hand to a customer and the record of a sale in your books.